What's up everyone, Super Nerd Daniel coming at you with more Pokemon Violet. In the last episode, we wrapped up the main story and defeated AI Turo being uh, overtaken by the Paradise Protection Protocol created by the real Professor Turo. And there was a whole lot of stuff about robots and future stuff and time machines and, you know, Arvin's family trauma, which is, you know, all kinds of good stuff. But now we are engaged in the post-game of Pokemon Violet. Because there's a couple of things I want to do before I wrap this series up. One of which is obviously going to go to see what director Clavel would like to talk about. Because that was the thing we kind of ended the last episode off on. Oh, gang's all here. Ha! Looks like the hero's finally here. Would you join us, Master Daniel? We're in for an earful, aren't we? Guess we'll find out soon enough. I mean, if we're going to be technical, we did go into the totally super strictly forbidden Area Zero. So, you know, might be in a bit of trouble here. No need for concern, you two. I'm not angry in the slightest. Oh? I merely called you all here to discuss your fine achievements in this year's treasure hunt. You shut down the Professor's time machine and thus prevented the Pokemon from the future from running rampant across Paldea. Your actions were truly outstanding in every regard, and I couldn't be prouder of you all. Yeah, that's what I was saying. A regrettable decision. Heh, <laughs> you've got us there. However, since this was necessary to protect Paldea and its precious ecosystems, I am willing to overlook that particular point. Phew, so we're not getting raked over the coals after all. Yeah, Penny doesn't need any more of that in her life. Oh, before I forget, Master Daniel, there's something I would like you to have. Each of your friends has received one already, so this one is for you. A Master Ball! Sick. Not sure what I'm going to use it on, but, I mean, hey. At least I have it. Oh, and about the Hall of Fame badge I gave you a short while ago, that gift is one we bestow only upon students who achieve truly remarkable feats. Yeah, I was wondering... Obviously, you guys wouldn't have seen this because, you know, the original episode 31 footage got corrupted and, you know, you didn't see anything that happened in the Pokemon League. But I did ask after that, um, after the championship battle, why there wasn't a whole Hall of Fame ceremony. But I guess it just comes in the form of a badge now. Huh. I expect you to honor what that badge represents by striving always to serve as a model for your fellow students. No promises. I guess I'll try. <laughs> oh? Well, I suppose you must be rather worn out from your recent adventures. Yeah, being the main character is fucking stressful, dude. And, Master Arvin, I was so sorry to hear about the Professor. You have my deepest condolences. Ah, well. Yeah, it was pretty rough when I found out my dad had died. But, weirdly enough, my head actually feels clear now. For the first time in ages. In the Great Crater, I got to learn a bit about my dad's research and what he was trying to achieve down there. I guess if you're building something as mind-blowing as a time machine, that takes priority over showering your son with attention, huh? All I know is, I'm done feeling like some lost little kid. Done. Time to say goodbye and move on. It's not gonna be that easy, Arvin. You, you cannot just skirt past your trauma and your emotional baggage like that. It's not that easy, man. I'm going to enjoy every last day till graduation with my buds here. And my boss dip, of course. Well said, Master Arvin. You truly are your father's son. Of course, I must remind you that you're nowhere near enough credits to graduate. You'll need to study frantically to catch up, but I have every expectation of your success. What? What? And let us not forget the other good news. Our academy has a new champion. Though we sadly cannot make your valiant deeds in the Great Crater known to the public, your new champion rank, at least, should be celebrated throughout the whole school. Ooh, I know how we should celebrate. We should hold a Pokemon battle contest. Of course that's your idea. Seriously, can we not? Classic Nimona. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm saying. A Pokemon battle contest, you say? While your own vested interests in such a venture are more than apparent, Miss Nomona, I think it's a fine idea. But please understand that a large-scale event will be quite beyond us. 
We've many other school activities to keep an eye on, after all. She's gonna organize it herself. Pardon my intrusion. I couldn't help it over here. Oh? Oh, hey, Gita. The Pokemon League will, of course, happily lend a hand in organizing this contest. La Primera? Well, well, a most kind offer, Chairwoman Gita. I do everything in my power to nurture young, up-and-coming talent. Though that's not to say only the youth have promise when it comes to Pokemon battles. A former gym leader, the developer of the Pokedex app, this academy clearly counts many skilled trainers of Pokemon among its staff. As such, my suggestion is as follows. Students and staff should compete for the title of Strongest Trainer at the Academy. Oh, shit. Whoa! We get to face the teachers! You can be too, right, Primera? Is that even allowed? The chairwoman's not part of the Academy, right? I was gonna say. Actually, I think she's the chairwoman of the school board as well as of the Pokemon League. Oh, that I did not know. Wait, for real? I mean, I knew she was on another level, but... Wow! Thank you for the invitation, Champion Nimona. I would gladly take up your kind offer to compete alongside you all, but... I'm afraid my schedule is already packed tight with work that I simply must attend to. Aw, can you free up some time somehow? Well, I suppose I might be able to participate if Champion Daniel would agree to lend me a hand with my work. Sure. Excellent answer. Much obliged, Champion Daniel. To get straight to it, I would like you to go out and inspect Paldea's various gems in my stead. Oh, is this how we, uh, is this how we facilitate champion, or not champion, but, uh, gym leader rematches? I just happen to go out and inspect the gems? Are they fulfilling their duties as beacons of strength and inspiration for all those aiming to achieve the champion rank? Or has their brilliance started to fade? To find this out, I ask that you bring your full might as champion to bear against each of the gym leaders and test their prowess in battle. Yup, alright. They are all trainers of exceptional talent, handpicked by me personally. I do not expect you'll find any cracks in their armor, but, well, consider it a formality. This will also provide the perfect stage for your first appearance as a new champion. Since all the gym leaders will still be expecting me to carry out the inspection, I imagine they'll have most of their full strength. I dare say, they might be more of a challenge than when you faced them before. I would hope so. You get to have all-out battles with the gym leaders? Man, I'm jealous! Now then, on to the other crucial matter. I'd like to discuss with Penny here how to patch the weaknesses in our league point system. Ah, weaknesses that she exploited to give us league points back in the day. But don't you think that having her work on the leak point system is also going to give her the inside scoop into how to hack it again if she... I don't know. I mean, not that I'm expecting her to, but I just feel like that's kind of an oversight, you know? Um, but there's a bunch of anime I've missed that I was just gonna binge. Oh. Too real. Thank you in advance for your willing and eager cooperation. Gah, I mean, I'll, I'll do it. I'll help. Let me help. Excellent. We'll leave you all to it then. Come now, Penny. Wow. This is awesome, Daniel. Show this inspection thing who's boss so that La Primera can join our tournament, okay? And enjoy taking another swing of the gym gauntlet while you're at it. I'll take care of filling out the forms and other administrative stuff so the ball gets rolling on the tournament in the meantime. I say, it's wonderful to see you all showing such initiative. You each have a crucial role to play. A critical role, even. Penny assisting the league, our new champion inspecting gyms, Nimona arranging the event. And Arvin is also there. <laughs> Give it your best, everyone. Guess my role so obviously goes without saying. I mean, you're here for emotional support. And besides, you've kind of just been through a lot, Arvin. I don't want to put too much on you right now. You know? If anyone needs a breather around here, it's you. Okay, but with all that said, I feel like I could just go ahead and just start doing the gyms now. Because, you know, I mean, gym leader rematches was one of the things I was looking forward to doing in the middle of this. So, hey, 
May as well just go ahead and do that. So let's head to Cortando, just as I did the last time, and challenge Katie first. Hello there, my name is Katie, and I am the owner of Patisserie Soberry. Oh, the new champion everybody is talking about? Is it actually you, sweetie? That's me, the new champion. Hooray! I guessed correctly! I suppose that makes sense, though. You sure were strong. You really looked like you were enjoying yourself when you tried my sweet treats, too. Hey, uh, by the way, you got any more of those? Um, I mean, I'm just saying, you know, you might get a little bit higher of a grade on your gym inspection if I got a few more cupcakes. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Uh, shouldn't, uh, I should be objective in my inspection. People like that always have great potential. So you're here on an errand for the top champion, are you? I completely forgot that she was supposed to be going around for inspections! Thankfully, I just happened to be here today to give cakes to my staff. Phew! Lucky me! Very well then. Is it time for me to get a taste of our new champion's strength? You bet! Hehe! <laughs> oh, what fun! Let's go somewhere more suited for battling! I remember your olive rolling prowess very well, Daniel. You had such vigor. It was almost as if you would terrestrialize into a fighting type yourself. Either that or I cheesed it with my Maridon. How many gyms had you been to when you first came here to mine? Was it your first? Yeah, you were actually. The Cortado gym is close to the academy, so many young trainers just starting out like to come here first. With that in mind, La Primera asked me to go soft on trainers, like a nice sponge cake. I feel sad for my sweet little bugs, though, since that means they quite often lose their battles. Hehe, <laughs> but opportunities like this get me excited, because I can finally show my true skill! Allow me to knead you into submission! Yeah, we'll see about that, Katie. Alright, Jimmy, rematch number one, the Bug-type specialist, Katie of Cortando! She's starting out with a low kicks! Alright, Nightmare, this should be a wash! Assuming these aren't like level 75 mons. Don't expect me to be sweet today, and don't cry when you taste bitter defeat. Yeah, this should not be too big of a deal. I'm gonna go for a swords dance. Can't sucker punch me because I'm not doing an offensive move yet. Ha ha ha. Oh, if I could cheese this like with the airy fight, that'd be amazing. Alright, there's sucker punch number two. Right, so I'm going to be plus four. That's Sucker Punch number three. You're just single-minded about that Sucker Punch, and it's going to cost you. Alright, now I can use a couple of uh, X items. It should probably be X defense, considering you're going in for a physical attack. That is super effective, to be fair. Right. And then just one more. Whoops. There we go. It's gonna be plus six attack, plus four defense. You're out of sucker punches, and I'm about to go in a flame charge. Start building up my speed. This is gonna be a wash, dude. There's no way. There's no way, dude. Disgusting. Already disgusting. Hey, level 71 for Artemis. Boretris against a fire type with all these stat buffs? Yeah, you're dead. You're super dead. What? How many Pokemon do you have, by the way? Five? Sure. Oh, yeah, that's right. You have Sturdy. That's fine. Curse? Yeah, that's going to do nothing for you. Honestly, I don't even think I need another speed buff. I can just go ahead and Shadow Claw you. Should be fine with a Shadow Claw to finish you off. Ooh, gee, what the fuck? Was that his eye popping out or his body just turned to the side? I think his body just turned to the side. I might have just been looking at that kind of wrong. Ooh, boy. That would be way freakier if it's fucking eye popped out when it got KO'd. That'd be weird. 
Hey, there's Heracross down. Three for five, by the way. Spide Ops. Oh, yeah, that's the uh, Tarantula Evolve form. Shouldn't be an issue. This is just disgusting. This is honestly just disgusting. I am so sorry, Katie. I know you were looking forward to a rematch. But, like, you made the same mistake Aerie did. You made the exact same mistake Aerie did by just zeroing in on Sucker Punch. And with me knowing that that was a thing you were going to do and that you were going to hone in on that, I was able to stab buff until it wouldn't even matter. You're going to terrestrialize. It's not going to matter. I'm assuming you're still going to just terrestrialize to your specialty type. I don't see any reason why you wouldn't. Yep, bug type Ursaring. So this should not be an issue. In fact, the first two gems really should be an issue because I can just mow through them with Nightmare both times, I think. Because I'm going to Brassius right after this. And there we go. Jim Lee rematch one in the books. I see you've emerged from your chrysalis and become a beautiful new you. Hey, 11,000 for that? Let's go. Not that I'm exactly short on money right now, but you know. That was quite the battle. I must say that your skill rivals even that of La Primera. Ah, how sweet it is to battle without holding back, even if I did end up losing. I'm beginning to think that going too soft on people may be no good for either party. My culinary teacher, Mr. Kofu. Oh, she was taught by Kofu! Ah, neat. Okay, see, there is another reason for these Jimlia rematches. We get more of that lore, because I did not know that. Interesting. My culinary teacher, Mr. Kofu, did tell me to put more of myself into my baking, after all. I think I may try conducting battles in more of my own style from now on. If traders complain that the Cortando Gym is suddenly more difficult, I'll just tell them that not all pastries are sweet. Goodbye for now. I hope to see you again someday. Sooner than you think, Katie. Alright, but with that out of the way, it's time to hit up Gym number two and take on Brassius. Let's rock and roll. Oh my god! You are Daniel! No, you are the artist Daniel God! It's the champion, actually. That is of no consequence. Each time I recall our artistic battle, I found myself wishing to face you once again. I am so very glad that you are here. Praise Mother Nature! I had planned to meet with the top champion today, but I have just now canceled that plan. Well, I mean, I'm here on her behalf anyway, so... What? You came in the top champion instead? Well, I cannot be bothered by that. I don't care what the reason is. If we can make a masterpiece together once again, then fine! Well then, Daniel, are you ready to open wide a door to the world of art? Yeah, just as soon as you stop hitting me with these Battlefield Earth camera angles. There is such thing as too many Dutch angles, man. I'm just saying. Behold, Daniel, the sight of Artisan's windmill. It catches the winds that blow across Paldea and slowly yet powerfully spits and yet and slowly yet powerfully spins ever on Jesus Christ my leaping down from that windmill to appear before those who would challenge my gym le uh, lends an added depth to our battles oh yeah I knew you would understand my reasoning Daniel <laughs> yeah just as long as you don't shatter your ankles I guess it's fine Though I believe I could spare my legs today. See? Exactly what I'm saying! Your ankles cannot be in great shape doing that constantly! But I digress. We are both artists, are we not? We have no further use for words now. I assume you are ready? Let our collaborative work of art begin! Bring it on, man! It's time for rematch number two with the grass specialist, Brassius! Lilian starting off. I've got Nightmare once again. I don't think I'm going to be able to get away with a plus six Swords Dance spam, though. 
But I should be able to get away with one, I feel like. I do wonder, are these all going to be, like, level 65? Or are they slowly going to increase as we, uh, kind of go up? Guess we'll see. Light screen doesn't do anything for you because I have almost no special attackers on this team. And the one that I do doesn't even have anything other than Acid Spray that's super effective against Grass types, so... I don't really plan on bringing Bev out here, if I'm honest. If I could sweep you with Nightmare, I'll just do that. Ooh, Serena, alright. Shouldn't really be an issue. Unless you're gonna Trop Kick me, which would be annoying. Nope. Alright, two down. Presumably three to go again. Breloom. Alright, well, I'll be immune to your fighting stab. And I still resist the grass stab. So I'm not sure what you think this does for you, but hey. I'll take the experience. Arbol Arbol Arbolivia? Or Arbor Arboliva? Arboliva? I think I've seen this briefly once before, just fighting a, uh, an NPC trainer. Just off screen, you know, when I was like doing some off screen stuff. This is the, uh, this is the Evo of uh, Smolliv, right? Yep, that's what that is. Okay. Looks kind of neat. Well, time to kill it. Goodbye. Ah, uh, it's gonna put down grassy terrain. Shouldn't matter, though. It's about to mow over your last Pokemon like it's nothing. That's what you get for letting me set up, man. Yep, here comes the Trudeau Widow again. This work's concept is the deep-rooting nature of plants. A briar's thorns are not easily removed. I do hope this lives up to my expectations. I shall call it Trudeau Widow Part 2. It's going to be over quicker than the first time. All right, Nightmare, let's wrap this up. Oh, yeah, that's right. You have Sturdy. <laughs> oh, well. We'll wrap it up next turn. Surely you don't just, you know, counter me. No, it's just gonna be Terra Trailblaze, right? Yeah. You don't have nearly enough speed buffs to outspeed me at this point. Plus, I did almost nothing. Yeah, you're dead. You are super dead. They get your little pittance of HP back. It's fine. Out of here. Beautiful. Ah, Vanguard! Seeing you in the midst of battle, you are like a unique radiant, subtly changing hues. Righteous and yet gentle, such contrast. I lack the words to express it. My hat goes off to you. Wow, the super dramatic rain starting right now. Probably gonna use that several turns ago, <laughs> Brassius. You're probably cursing the gods for not giving you that to resist my flame charges. My battles with you are truly a gift. Each time, I am made to remember how I felt so long ago when I first when I first ventured into this world of art. Ah, I almost forgot. You were here for the gym inspection in the cha in the top champion stead, correct? Well, that is of no consequence. Report on my gym here as you see fit. Ah, my inspiration is overflowing, as if drawn from a bottomless well. I will begin on a new piece at once. You must excuse me. Farewell. 
Man, he just never stops, does he? All right, two down, six to go. So I guess we'll just go to the next one. See how many we could do in this video. I'll probably end up doing like four at least. But anyway, let's go visit Ayano. Get another collab going. Primera, your eyeballs are mine. Caught my electro web. Who's a what's it? I don't know. Hello, hello, hola, ciao, and bonjour. Wait, you aren't Gita. Yeah, she sent me instead. Say what? You just became a champion and you're already out helping La Primera? Were you just doing your gym tests like yesterday? You're really kicking butt out there. Wait, so basically what you're telling me is that right now is the perfect time for us to collab? I can see it now. I'll be more popular than ever. <laughs> okay, I pick it up what you're putting down, friendo. Since you're here to do the inspection for Gita, I'm gonna give you a show you'll never forget. And I don't know about you, but I think it's about time we got down to it. What do you say? Actually, I think I just realized I don't have my proper lead out. So, uh, let's go ahead and swap out Mud Skipper. Now I'm ready. Yes, here we go! Off to Battleland! Hello, hello, hola, ciao, and bonjour! Welcome to the Ayano Zone! It's me, Ayano! Today's guest is our brand spanking newest champion, Daniel! You've gone viral among the gym leaders, friendo! You're all we're talking about recently! I remember your gym test well! It was bzz, shocking! This stream's gonna trend like crazy! I can't wait to see those viewer numbers go up, up, up! Alright, here we go! Got that camera set up just how I like it! I don't know about you all, but I'm ready to get this battle started! We'll call this stream, Ghibli or Ayano Battles Like You've Never Seen Before! Hell yeah, I gotta get that clickbait title set up! Alright, time for Gym Leader Rematch number 3 against the Electric Specialist Ayano! Oh, she's starting off with a kill of Watch Roll! Alright. Time to put on my serious face! Eyes wide open like a Magnemite so you don't miss a thing! Oops, she sent up Tailwind! Luckily, I'll be able to burn a couple of turns off that from setting up the T-Spikes. Oh god, wind power? I'm guessing that gives you some kind of power boost if there's Tailwind up? I have to assume. Alright, we're getting the Quick Claw to get the second layer down. Cool, cool, cool. Hopefully she doesn't have a Toxtricity to suck up all these T-Spikes. Otherwise, I'll feel like a goof. Ooh, Hurricane! And it's gonna be 100% accurate because it's in the rain! Ugh. That's annoying. Alright, if I don't hit this move, I'm gonna have to heal next turn with a full restore. Alright, good. Nice shot, Mud Skipper. Big damage. It might be a good idea to full restore anyway, just to be safe. Nice. And get back up to full health. Hopefully this friggin' rain goes away soon so you don't get the 100% accurate hurricanes. It's more than a little annoying. Really? You got the confusion again immediately? Oh, fuck right off. Your tailwind's gone, not that it matters. Considering Mudskipper's not even that fast. Up oh, there that goes. Alright, so we gotta deal with four more turns of that. Alright, come on Mudskipper, work with me here. Breakthrough! 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 Good job! And there's Kilowattro down! Right, so please don't have Toxtricity. That's all I ask, is that you don't have Toxtricity. Luxray, fine. So far, fine. You get, you're gonna get badly poisoned. Should be alright. Intimidate, that's less alright. But his EQ still does a fair bit. Psychic Fangs! Oh! Man! Hey, come on, come on, break through, break through, break through! Nice! How much does this get me? Alright, like three quarters, not bad. 
Right, so let's go ahead and full restore. Nice, nice, nice. We're going to heal up to full health. Hopefully you don't also have something to confuse me. No, actually, considering you have Psychic Fangs, it would probably be a good idea to swap out to something that would uh, not be affected by that. Such as, for example, Artemis. Who would resist your Electric Stab and be immune to Psychic Fangs. In fact, you're just going to die to the poison this turn. Yup. Haha, <laughs> nerd. And down goes Luxray. Two down, five to go. Ooh, level 72 for Artemis, and the Tailwind's gone. Sick. You know, I think we stay with Artemis. I think Artemis could take a Belly Bolt. Especially a badly poisoned one. Right, so let's go for that always critting flower trick. Bonk! A little over half, cool. Oh boy. There's a thunder. She resisted though. Ooh, that's resisted, by the way. Oh, really? All right, Artemis. I feel like you're not gonna get too much more done here if you're gonna be paralyzed. So actually, let's bring back Mud Skipper, and I can just heal up next turn. It should be all right. If you try to use some kind of water coverage, because I know you get chilling water and stuff, I'm just gonna. Yo, get blocked by Water Absorb. I'm gonna heal, though. I'm gonna play it safe, and I'm gonna heal. Don't need to do a full restore, because I don't have a status condition, thankfully. There we go. Ha! Called it. Pretty sure you tried to do that in the initial battle, too. You tried to use freaking Water Pulse. It just did not work out. You know what, since you're going to die to the poison anyway, let me go ahead and full restore Artemis. Just in case I need to bring him back out for a swap. Because I feel like you're going to just try and go for the Water Pulse again. Nope, Sucker Punch, even better. Sorry, no priority attacks for you. You're done. It should be 3 out of 5 now. Electrode. I think we stay in with this. Yep. Alright. EQ should basically kill you, but you are probably way faster than me, so you're going to get something off. Ooh, you're setting up Electric Terrain. Hopefully your ace Pokemon's not going to be able to take too far advantage of that. Too far advantage? What? What kind of phrasing is that? Guess we'll see, though. Because Electrode's down. Oh yeah, Miss Magus, that's right. We're going to be Electric Miss Magus, so... Hey, Daniel, quit hogging the limelight. Let me shine a bit, yo. Sorry, that's what happens when you bring a main character on your stream. I put the butts in seats, Iano. You need to understand that. Now, I don't remember if Miss Magus has Levitate. I may have just wasted a turn. Um, I guess we're going to see. Guess I'll just look stupid here in a second. That is a Shadow Ball. Come on, tank it, tank it. Nice. Yep, it has Levitate. Fuck, I, I just keep forgetting that for some reason. I will. Whatever. I can go for the Stab Poison Jab because you're Electro-type now. It's fine. You know, which also explains... I should have fucking realized that when you didn't get poison from the T-Spikes. I should have realized that right then and there. Of course, I can't yawn you because... Wait. No, wait, that would work, wouldn't it? Because Electric Terrain prevents you from going to sleep, but only if you're touching the ground and therefore touching the terrain... So, like, theoretically, I should be able to yawn you. Well, not that it matters now. Both because of your low health and also the fact that you're freaking about to die to poison. And we're going to swap an Artemis just to round this out. 
Because I'll resist the Shadow Ball and then you die to poison. And that'll be all she wrote for Ayano. Yup. Artemis is going to tank that. No problem. Not even 40. And then Miss Magius dies to the poison. And that is three gym leader rematches done. Our brand spanking newest champions, hot stuff! Oh man, I'm not super happy about losing, you know, but... Look at those viewer numbers! The Iano Zone's on a roll today! I'm on Cloud 9! No, Cloud 10! Having someone as popular as you on my stream is a great idea! I'm trending like the internet's mad at me! Oh boy. We should collab like this regularly. Don't go appearing on any other channels, though. Oh, you mean like youtube.com slash c slash supernerddaniel, perhaps? Alright, I don't know about you, but I'm done. Tell I Primera what a sensation I was, okay? That I shall do. Your eyeballs are mine. Caught in my electroweb. Who's a what's it? I don't know. Signing off. Alright, we got time for one more this episode, so I think we'll go fight the person I fought right after Ayano the last time, that being the Water-type Specialist, Kofu. Let's go back to Kaskarafa, shall we? Or Kaskarafa, I'm never gonna decide on the pronunciation, I'm so sorry. Hey, uh, step right up! Welcome to the Kaskarafa Gym! Vault of Alusa! Look who it is! I was expecting someone else! Yeah, I came instead. Aha, I see. Miss Gita put you up to this, did she? It feels like just yesterday that you were out collecting your badges, and now look at you. Already champion rank. You're like one of those fish Pokemon that completely changes shape and name as it evolves. All full of life. What a great catch. And now this, our promising up-and-comer, here to test my abilities himself. Don't worry, this old man's used to facing harsh reviewers. Part of the restaurant business. True. Alrighty then. You ready to battle this old man and see if he's still fit to be called gym leader? As I'll ever be. That's what I'd like to hear, right this way. Ever since you fought for that choice seaweed for me, all my dishes using it have been big hits. Thanks for that. Guess it's no surprise you did so well, what with being worthy of champion rank. Goodness gracious, but do I ever meet all kinds of people while doing this job? I've seen people like yourself who run full speed ahead like a raging river, and plenty of people who settle down like a calm lake. We older folk tend to prefer the latter, of course, but this old man himself finds that a bit dull. Rivers flow into the ocean. That water then climbs up into the clouds and becomes rain. I am Kofu the Torrent, ever-changing, just like water. Now come see what I'm made of! Alright, time for Gym Leader Rematch number 4 against Water Specialist Kofu! Starting off with that Vaulted Belooza! Right, okay. Good ingredients don't need no cover-up spices. Get ready for fresh, raw, old man Kofu! Oh boy, Belooza with its friggin' Mold Breaker. Alright, Night Slash, let's rock and roll. Thankfully, so far, all these gym leaders have been around level 65, with their ace being 66, so if I'm right, it's not really going to matter what order I challenge them in. Pelipper? All right. Uh, you know what? Bev, let's get you some screen time. Unfortunately, I think the Pelipper is going to set up a drizzle, so it's going to power up Kofu's water attack, so that's more than a little annoying. Yup. Thankfully, though, you should die to, like, one Discharge, I think. Ooh, big Surf damage. Yup. Goodbye. Unfortunately, Pelipper did do its job, though, setting up the rain, so... Wugtrio, um... 
Yeah, you know, let's bring Artemis back out. Just because Artemis would resist the water. And I need that resistance considering the rain's up. Either that or Mud Skipper with Water Absorb. But, you know, I want to make sure Artemis is still, like, the captain of the team, level-wise. Which, again, I've said this before. I know it's kind of silly, but it's just something I like to do. Anyway. Bonk! Three down, two to go. Claw Witzer, all right. Should be easy pickings. Yep. All right, down to the last. Yep, there's a the Kravominable. God, <laughs> beat down the hatches to prepare for a storm. Or batten down the hatches. Sorry, reading is hard. Anyway. Yo, I think just this once I'll terrestrialize just to be safe because Kerbomable is kind of, you know, it's, it's probably a little bit beefier on the HP side than most of his other Pokemon. So we're just going to play it safe here because this thing is fighting and I'm dark, so, you know, might be a bit of an issue if it survives. A Kerbomable terrestrializing! Think outside the crab trap, I say! Hey, Kofu, want to see a magic trick? Watch and be amazed as I make your Kerbominable's HP disappear! Wow, it's gone, just like magic. Nice. What a refreshing loss! My mind's as clear as still water! Probably didn't have time to do a whole lot, considering that, you know, most of your Pokémon just got one-tapped. You really put the pressure on! Guess I should have expected no less from someone with La Primera's seal of approval. What a catch! The wildest currents, for better or worse, pull in everything around them and have really wild and drastic effects on their surroundings. That makes those friends of yours who stay by your side all the more important. Phew! Your youthful vigor's got my motivation flowing up like a rising tide. Next time you see Miss Gita, tell her that old Kofu's me tell her that old man Kofu's flowing and crashing more than ever. Jeez. Don't forget to tell her, young friend, and you come back to see me again now, you hear? And I think that's where we're going to end off this episode. We got four of the Gym Leader rematches down, and in the next episode, we'll take care of the other four. So thank you for watching this episode of Pokemon Violet. Leave a like if you liked it. Answer the comment question down below, which I realized I never came up with. Here it is now. Boom. There you go. But do all that cool stuff. Subscribe for more in the future. Take care of yourselves. Drink some water. And... Nah, that's it. Just drink some water. Might need it in the middle of a sandstorm like this. Jeez.